Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to another modded weapon guide here on Borderlands 2. Today I am back and we're going to be reviewing a weapon called the Deus Ex Armor today made by Exotech over on the Borderlands 2 community GitHub. Uh, and this one is pretty interesting really because it is actually a modded Maliwan assault rifle. Um, this is pretty good actually because there is actually no such thing in the normal game as a, as a Maliwan assault rifle. Uh, but this has been inspired by something that has been found or noticed, let's say noticed in the actual game. So basically, to cut a long story short, um, well, the link in the description to Hater Hide's um, video in the uh, Exotech file on the Borderlands 2 community GitHub if you want to go and watch that video. If I remember, I'll put it in the link of this description as well. But basically, it's been noticed um, over the radio um, broadcasts that often occur. Um, there's one that actually talks about uh, a Maliwan God Gun, an all elemental God Gun. Um, I'll put a screenshot of it, uh, the actual quote, on the uh, screen right now so you guys can see it. Uh, now obviously a thing like this doesn't actually exist yet maybe, uh, it might have been created but never released or something like that, I don't know. It's not actually currently in Borderlands 2. You never know, it could come along in Borderlands 3, but there is this talk of this all elemental god gun made by Maliwan. Uh, now obviously with the modding community uh, it was only a matter of time before somebody actually did create uh, this weapon and Exotech has gone and done it. So uh, pretty interesting stuff really but uh, yeah today we're going to be looking at the, the modded version of this inspired by uh, that video uh, made by Exotech. It's called the Deus Ex Armor which uh, translates in from Latin to uh, the god within the gun. Uh, so yeah, just thought that was pretty interesting, a bit of a longer intro to a modded weapon guide, but there is a story behind it and I liked uh, to actually get that through before we start the guide. So let's go ahead and start it by, as always, showing you guys exactly where to get it. So as always you can click on the link in the description, that will take you straight there, or you can navigate there yourself and have a little look around if you want to find anything else. But uh, yeah, basically go to the Borderlands 2 Community GitHub, click on Borderlands 2 Mods, and then head to Exotech's section right here. Then you're going to want to click on Assault Rifles right at the top, and then click on the Deus Ex Armor, which is at the top as well. Click on that, that will bring up the Weapons Information page of all the information you need. Uh, so all you've got to do is click on the Raw tab, right click, Save As, Save Into Your Borderlands 2 Binaries Folder, and then head into the game. Like I said, you're going to need to grab yourself a Scorpio. That's what's going to be turned into the Deus Ex armor. And then just execute it in the console commands when you come into the game. Or, of course, in the main menu. Uh, and that will change it into the Deus Ex armor, which we're going to have a look at right now. It's been turned into a red rarity weapon. And uh, it says one gun to rule them all. Obviously, that is uh, just um, going back to what I said earlier about the whole setup for this thing. The Maliwan God Rifle. So you can see right here, this gun is uh, pretty fast firing and all elemental, um, and it is pretty good, uh, powerful weapon actually. It's uh, very accurate from long range as well. Uh, it's got a three round burst on it. Uh, you can see uh, you shoot it straight, three projectiles come out, and they are very accurate indeed. You can shoot quite long range with this thing and actually uh, land a hit on the enemy. So pretty. Uh, Pretty good weapon all in all and it's very powerful, obviously with being four elements as well it's going to be and uh, it's obviously called the Maliwan God Gun so you're going to expect it to be quite damaging. Uh, but there is a certain thing about this as well that does make it a little hard, obviously with overpowered weapons it's always good to get them balanced with something else and this obviously has something else because if you keep an eye on my health uh, at the bottom left which isn't seem to be doing anything there you go off it goes um, this does actually strip your shield completely and it drains your health as well so you will need to carry around some sort of healing weapon and also uh, just keep switching out so you get your shield back uh, but as soon as you switch back your shield's gone um, and yeah you're gonna have to fight to survive so you're gonna need to keep some healing on you. So let's quickly um, run through the, uh, the community GitHub page for this. Um, it actually says um, the DSX armor is a corrupted Maliwan assault rifle. Um, this is one gun to rule them all. This is the first ever Maliwan assault rifle. It does not consume ammo because of the reload animation. 
Um, it has multi-elements to it, high damage, increased elemental effect damage, and when zoomed in, shoots three projectiles per trigger pull at the cost of lower fire rate. Um, the corrupted effect disables your shield and depletes your health, which you just ran through. Um, this gun was inspired by Hader Hype's video, uh, and that is where the link is for that video if you want to watch it. It's just a discussion on this um, certain screenshot that we saw, which again I'll probably try and put up on the screen right now just in case you missed it the first time. Uh, since there are no Maliwan assault rifles in the game, you can't really change the manufacturer through the code. Um, without messing up a lot of stuff, uh, but it also comes in non-elemental versions, so you can use the GIB codes provided below to have it set as Maliwan and non-elemental as well. Um, and he's provided two GIB codes, one for level 72, one for overpower 8. Um, so you can go ahead and paste them in, like I've said in many videos before, if you can and uh, you don't want to sit away farming, uh, it's always best to paste in the uh, GIB gibbed codes for these because they're the ones that the, the people have tested on, they're the ones the modders recommend, it's always good to use the ones that they recommend. Uh, so as you can see, uh, it is a very powerful weapon indeed, I mean, um, we're going to get people down pretty easily right here, but again, it's because it's a god gun, and you can see though, it is balanced because I do go down a lot from it, so although, you know, you can pretty much one shot most enemies with this three round burst, um, you do have to actually up your survival skills a little bit keep pulling out the grog nozzles do some healing or switching getting your shield well there's no point in getting your shield back to be honest because as soon as you switch back to the gun it comes down but if you've got healing on your character uh, then make sure you keep you know using it because if not you're gonna go down i can switch to this grog nozzle now get all my health back get all my shield completely full look right and then i'll switch to this thing and before i've even fired a shot off i'm down to three thousand you know thirty thousand health whatever and I'm one shot away from going down. So there is a, the, that corrupted effect on this gun really does make it quite difficult. So you do have to plan accordingly and try and get some uh, get some kills in before you go down. Uh, but yeah, anyway guys, that is a modded weapon guide on the Deus Ex Armor made by Exotech. Really do recommend you watch uh, the video as well, uh, Hader Hype's video, just if you want to see a bit of conspiracy, is that the right way to put it, um, on this weapon? It's mentioned, but we haven't seen it, so I suppose it's a bit, you know, um, it's a good discussion though, really. It really is a good discussion um, on what this thing means and when we could possibly see it and things like that. So, uh, recommend going to watch that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.